Hey guys, sorry for the cutoff on the last video. I'll post this part two um, in the description. But uh, my phone got too hot and it shut off. Like it's over 100 degrees here today in uh, Houston, Texas. And that's where the bike will be, obviously, um, when you are bidding or you're looking to purchase it. Um, yeah, so I was going through everything. Um, your battery is behind here, which is brand new. And um, your gas tank and your oil is behind here there's a little key for it or a little keyhole for it obviously your uh, your key is the same as your ignition key for it it pops this latch up and then you can get in here um, yeah oil right here it's filled all the way up and your gas is right here and it electronically mixes it into the gas um, and it works really well of course the bike is basically new old stock um, let's see what else electric start and again completely automatic transmission with the um, the tilt of the bike you can literally drive this thing with one hand um, it's pretty interesting so there's your ignition down here you do need to um, squeeze this brake here and then you click the uh, the start button it's usually just one press here by the way you have a, a parking brake here along with the park parking brake down here for the uh, uh, tilt and the uh, steering neck um, so again if you are one-handed like I am now or whatever the case may be click the parking thing down here and your electric start and it runs really really well um, as you would expect something to run with only 684 miles on it and you know while it's running or whatever your parking lock right here turn the little turn signals on for you I'll try to do a night view um, also. Oh, the headlight. Uh, Again, I'll, I'll try to do it like a little night video for you so you can see it at night, but... Um, runs really well. And again, completely automatic. Three-wheeler. And it idles down after it actually warms up. Um, it's incredibly cold natured because how they connected the uh, or they how they put the engine in the back so the airflow goes straight to the um, air filter there um, again you've got new tires all new fuel lines um, fuel filter everything everything's been gone through uh, the rims have been uh, ceramic ceramically done um, the exhaust everything looks wonderful on the bike and, and again it's super low mileage um, survivor saved it and again I hate to sell it I'm just out of room the pegs they uh, flip up also um, if you're trying if you need to store it um, give you a little bit more storage I guess it's not a big bike um, one person one seater bike you hear it now kind of starting to idle down um, And that's your idle on it. It takes forever for it, like I said, to uh, to actually get warm. Um, yeah, that's all I know. Um, I, <laughs> there's a little, um, I guess you call this a hitch if you need to pull something out or whatever. Um, I run these, um, I guess they're kind of like knobby tires. I run those, and so, you know, they're easy. it's easy to get this thing through... Um, um, dirt or grass or whatever, or even mud. Um, 
and it'll do 30 miles per hour all day long. That's why I kind of use it to go around town and whatnot, and again, it is completely street legal. Um, so yeah, that's it. I don't know, uh, the chrome is in great condition, the uh, aluminum handles over here, and the brake levers and everything. Uh, I went over the scratches there on the fenders, and uh, a little pitting here and there uh, in the last video, so if you clicked on this one first, uh, make sure you go and check that one out. Your spark plug is right in here, easy, super easy to change. Um, and yeah, it's just a simple, um, very well designed bike. And it is fun as heck to get around on. So much fun. So yeah, it'll be for sale here in Houston, Texas. And uh, I will do a third video um, with a nighttime view and a little ride around 